Hey, blessings everyone. This is Yanni, the only luckologist. Let me just double check to make sure this is showing. I don't have my mic, so I'm going to try to talk as loud as I could. So I want to say the reason why I know a lot of you have been calling me today is what? The 14th? Yeah. Okay. So today's the 14th of September and I know a lot of you left me voicemail. So Jimmy and I actually had a little bit of an accident and I could not, I had to stop taking new clients. In fact, it happened two days before we started working. So we were talking to the contractor outside. I want to explain to you guys, you'll see why. And again, I do apologize. I wasn't being rude. I know there's a lot of voicemails that I can't take you guys in this cycle. All right. So anyway, uh, I think it was like two days before, excuse me, two days before, um, we started working, we started working on the fifth, which was a Sunday and Jimmy went upstairs. We outside just talking to the contractor, showing him what it is need to be done with the house again, you know, just talking and Jimmy went upstairs to get blues leech, my dog. And next thing you know, I didn't even hear the fall. I heard a scream like and jimmy's a man so it wasn't it was a scream like legitimate scream scream long story short jimmy ended up spraining his ankle in fact he screamed so hard that when i we all of us the contractor the contractor's worker all of us ran in the house to see what was wrong because the scream it jolted all of us right and jimmy's at the bottom of the step holding his foot i the way he screamed i kept looking on the floor thinking it's blood thinking that the bone no because i didn't know what it is you know mm -hmm. what i mean because you're like he's holding it and he's like i'm like what's wrong what's wrong you know it was bad when jimmy almost almost said stop fucking asking me what's here because he wanted a curse but it's pain and when he said yeah i fell down the steps and um long story short it's spring so all the people all the clients who saw him actually know we are telling the truth you bought a crutch thing. You, you just saw it. His foot is up mm -hmm. on a, it's, he has a brace on it. Yeah. We bought this, this, um, a crutch where you could bend your foot and it act like a second, like a fake foot. Bought that, spent $159. That was a waste of time because within two seconds of walking on it, he almost fell and then he hurt his knee and his shin. Yeah. Right. It took him two hours to mount that up. So that was the first thing. So I'm like, okay, before I take any clients, let me see what happened. A couple days later, that Sunday we started working. I went to sleep fine. Usually I'm a little sore when I work the first day because, you know, we were off all of last month. So I'm a little sore. I'm accustomed to that. The next morning I wake up now, I had the worst back pain in the history of back pains. Like I always tell clients, I can stand up all day. Back in the day, you know that because she was actually a Georgia client. So she would come, my last client used to come at 7 o'clock at night. You telling me, Jimmy and I will do up to 40, 15 clients in a day. And people would ask, I don't get swollen feet, nothing. I'm sore, I'm in pain at the end of the day, but the next morning I wake up pretty fine. This was different. This was my lower back. I explained it to everyone. I said it felt like I was, I had a hula hoop. And, but my hula hoop, you know how we, when we were kids, we do the hula hoop thing. It felt like my hula hoop had weights on it. So it mm. went like a belt, but I was wearing a belted weight. Mm. So for two days, Every time I take a deep breath, it's, I feel like my, not my rib cage, because the ribs is in the back. Lean forward, let me show you. The pain was shooting up here. Mm. Every time I take a breath. Mm. So the stress of it now is triggering Graves, my Graves disease. When I couldn't take it anymore, I ended up going to the ER and I told Jimmy, okay, let, let us both go to the ER to find out, make sure you didn't break any. I already know he didn't break anything because one of my clients is a doctor. She actually went to get ace bandages and she wrapped his foot and said it was just a sprint. So we knew that, but just to make sure. Luckily, it was just a sprint. I, on the other hand, have something called back spasms. Never got it in my life. They did all the tests. It wasn't any kidney infection or anything. It was just two unfortunate events happened at once. So all the new clients we were ready to take, and again, I can't apologize enough to you guys. You know, I know a lot of you are excited to see us. I want Jimmy and I to treat it here, get it healthy and whatnot, or keep it healthy. This is what happened. That is why many of you called and you still haven't gotten a call back. Right? As I said, Jimmy, fall happened two days before we started working. And my back kicked in. I'm fine now. They gave me um, some strong ibuprofen and Valium, which is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. You ever had Valium? Mm -hmm. 
So I don't take any. The doctor was like, did you take anything? I was like, listen, Advil, PM, and some extra strength Tylenol. That's as far as I go. I do not, I, I don't have an addictive personality. I'm not taking these things. God forbid I get addicted. <laughs> like, I don't play with that. And I had many surgeries. I've been cut open so many times I've lost track. From brain surgery to fibroids to breast reduction to keloid removal, dental surgery, and all of them they had to knock me out for. All right? I've had a lot of surgeries in my life. So, and usually when I wake up, whatever narcotics they gave me, Percocet or whatever, I might take it the first day. And right after that, I just go on um, extra drink Tylenol. Even though my pain tolerance is well, I'm like, I'm not taking that shit. I'm not putting that in my body. I'll take the lesser of the evils. So, at the hospital, they gave me um, ibuprofen, a strong one. No, not ibuprofen, I'm sorry. Some kind of shot in my shoulder. I think it was a anti-inflammatory shot. And they gave me two, two, um, uh, uh, Valium. Woo! To tell you how, you know, my buddy don't take that thing, Jaleesa. I was high for two days. <laughs> like, I'm like, how do people, no offense to anyone that has to take it. But listen, then the next day I took one, they said in the morning when you wake up, because we left the ER, this is tell you how guys, this is what has been going on. We left the ER, we got there at four o'clock the afternoon. We left the ER 10 minutes past 12 midnight. Mm. Then the next morning, the first client had to get us at six o'clock in the morning. Mm. Jimmy and I still got up and, and, and I would have canceled everyone, or I shouldn't say cancel, rescheduled all my regular clients, and they would have understood because it's something I've never done Last, I shouldn't say never done. The one time it was done, and that's in Georgia, was when I got Graves' disease in January, right? And you know that all the years you know me, you know you've never got no call saying I can't do here. But the reason why we stuck through it is because that day we had two clients that flew in. A guy named Michael who flew in from Michigan and another lady who flew in from Texas. I think we have another Texas client coming. If it wasn't for them, we would have just said, you know what, fuck it. Let's just, you know, explain what I'm explaining now to all my clients. And just and just try to rest, which we were resting all of last month. All right, so I just wanted to take some time while I massage this real estate, which you're not complaining, <laughs> right? <laughs> Be like, yeah, go ahead and talk, <laughs> right? And just explain this is why for the Jersey location, I had to stop. Um, at the end of the day, health is first, so you know, shit just happens. Even though Jimmy's selling all the clients that I went to misery on him, if you guys ever saw Caddy Bates in misery, when everybody asked Jimmy what's wrong, because he has his foot, that leg thing we bought from Amazon didn't work. So he has to use a chair with a pillow to bend his foot. They say you have to keep it elevated. And it's healing nice. So everybody asked Jimmy what's wrong. This stinker telling all the clients that he woke up and I had a bat, like if they ever saw misery. And then the client's looking at me like, Wow, Yanni, really? And like, what do you think? Yeah, so that's what Jimmy telling the clients. He fell and bust the shit because I, I married a klutz and a half. He fell and bust the shit <laughs> down the steps. That's what happened. All right? So we're doing a lot better. My back feet a lot better. I think once I took that valley and my body was like, yeah, let's just get better so you never have to take that shit again. Okay. Yeah, my body, I'm not. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Back in my day when I had brain surgery, I had, if you know what fentanyl is, mm -hmm. right, that's a strong narcotic because I used to be on pain management drugs. Mm -hmm. Once I had my brain surgery, all that shit expired. People are like, you didn't take it? Like that stuff is like, no, I'm not taking that. Mm -hmm. I only took it because I was in a lot of pain, I chronic pain. Anytime I take surgery, whatever they give me, if I take three of them, it's a lot. It always expires and I just have to throw them away. The other day I was going through my little medicine bag thing. And I had two, I think my dentist gave me that, um, Tylenol with codeine. Mm -hmm. That's also strong. Mm -hmm. 2018. Now you see the time. I'm looking at the data like, yeah. 2018 was when, I'm like, yeah, that's expired. I'll use that. I'll use nothing. I'll Tylenol, I have Tylenol extra strength. I might do a leave. And worse for worse, I'll take Advil PM. That's it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to bless her here right now. I'll show the after video. Oh, my back itching. Oh, God, right there. Oh, sweet scratch. Anyway, I'll do that. <laughs> you ever have like a really sweet scratch and you get into it? So I'm going to do it here right now, and you guys are going to see the after. This was one of my, oh, 
you're one of my originals. In fact, when we met each other, you guys see how long her hair is? When we met each other, her hair was right here. We were in Georgia at the time. In fact, you know, when you got pregnant, you say, yeah, I'm pregnant. Yeah, when you were coming, you went to the doctor, then you came to me to get your hair done. You're like, I'm pregnant. I want to see a baby now. Your, your man child. And we were, I was doing it here before you even got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go way back like hair grease. All right, guys, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, we are back. Her hair is done. All right, because I know you guys always like it. I just like showing you guys after, even though, even if I'm doing a video and I'm not, and I'm not talking about locks, I still like to show the after, all right? Um, we were just talking about her hair, actually. She said, Yanni, the only person who touched this after all these, how long? 10 years? Mm -hmm. Wow. You know what? I just remember when I met you, I just got back from Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was like, wow, you're like the first person I knew <laughs> to Africa that long. And she does nothing with it. I haven't seen her in six months, because sometimes she misses a cycle. All right, so, and just so you guys know, she actually has very, very, you can see her through the, um, the video. You mind if you lean back a little bit? Let me see if it's showing. She has actually really, really soft hair. Guys, fancy. I've never trimmed her hair. It's never done tight. She has all her locks. Not one of her locks are joined because I've been doing it for God knows how long. Mm -hmm. So the size have stayed the same. All right. So anyway, again, for all the people who have called us and left voicemails, just to reiterate, I apologize. We really could be, we, and we already took a lot of clients, but we had room for quite a few of you. We did. How I, how I do my dates, we could have squeezed, we could have put, not even squeezed, we could have put a lot of you guys in. Once Jimmy hurt himself and then with me and my back, my back feels a lot better. If any of you have ever had a back spasms, had a back, has a back spasms, what am I saying? Have ever had back spasm, you guys should have warned me, that pain is no joke. I was telling you, I was bawling down the place in the ER with no shame. <laughs> All right? You guys should have told me about that. That's, but I feel a lot better now. Okay, um, still I can't, because of Jimmy's leg, I still can't take any new clients in this cycle. Um, Jimmy's foot, I'm sorry. We'll be back in October, okay? I'll add a couple extra days, even just to take you guys who try to book in, um, what month are we in again? In September. As I always say, don't leave any um, text messages, please. It will be ignored. I do not respond to text messages. If you and I have never met each other, I think it's impersonal. I think it's rude. Okay, people like her, who's like grandmother, she's not a grandmother, grandmother in us, knowing each other, we communicate via text, all right, regular clients, not new people, all right, I will post the dates when I start taking new clients for the Jersey location, and that will be closer to the end of November, October, we'll be in Georgia, by then Jimmy Leg should be good and healed, all right, and I will post the dates when I start taking bookings for new clients in October, all right, so... Guys, just keep Jimmy in your press. He's doing great. Um, he's healing. The swelling has gone down a lot. And um, I know I did not break his leg or do any kind of <laughs> catty bait shit. All right? He was really telling people that. That's okay. Remember misery. You heard what he's saying in the back? You guys can't hear him. He's saying, remember misery. I said, now I really break his shit. Turn around so I lean forward so I can see they can see a beautiful look how amazing that hairline looks tell them quickly what people do to you but talk loud I don't have the mic talk as loud as you could um, people always try to do my hair they always want to do my hair color my hair no why not <laughs> no I want to keep it that's why she is a loctician's dream. She has that texture where when you twist it or whatever technique you twist, palm roll, interlock, whatever, all her hair stays in place. She has that. She doesn't even have to do much. She could put, not even with coming to me, she could put spit and do a couple of rolls, egg on stay. She has that perfect type of locks that people love to see that stays neat. That's why she doesn't need to see me often. What, every six, most of the time, I think I see like two to three times a year. Yeah. Yeah, she's very low maintenance, and I am blessed to always work with her. All right, you always have great conversation. And by the way, she's coming all the way from Maryland, mm -hmm. all the way. In fact, when we were in Georgia, she even came from Maryland to Georgia. Complete stalker, super creepy, super creepy. 
All right, I love you, Jalisa. You know I love you. Love you, love you, love you. All right, guys. Um, I'll post more videos. Stay tuned. Bye.